We could swing across that uh lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Quite right. Got to be the right spot. These bottles, they smell fuel. A spot from your blade would cause. Oh, well, experimented. I think we could break through the ground here if you found a high enough place to drop from. <laughs>
Father, up there. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Impressive.
I think we can reach it there. That looks right. Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves.
survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thalmor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thalmor's son, Grimthor. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband. And Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. I can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Yotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. Ah, but enough of that for now. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't... No. The dwarves didn't like working for Asgard. Couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges yes. poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. Couldn't they just quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? Hmm. Well, anyway, 
We should look for the other half of the sea. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. Make it across. Right side. Behind. Wretched like there's no tomorrow. For her, it will be so. Left side. Oh. 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 Call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You are given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No. But it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri.
Good thing you learned the runes, brother. The air smells a lot cleaner. Just because we shut down the rigs. You know what? My face is itchy. I think my beard's coming in. Is it? Yeah, on my jawline. See? It's growing. Is it? That's not just dirt. It's not dirt. We going to Durland's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. We're looking for Durlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no? Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> here to collect on something, pal. Think, uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye, 
is dead. The rest of them are. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Play it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Hey, this isn't a fine. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smelled him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah. Tyr! Durlan helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. I thought I said... Just passing through. Oh! 
This thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. We may need some special equipment to use this. Say it, brother. It was written all over his face. Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. 
he burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahor. True believer, that one. There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. special equipment to use this. I don't think this is working, brother. Maybe we should come back. Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Oh, yep! Tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. Think that Drakius will kill the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Rah! Oh! Down there, I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. We're gods. Better gods. We're trying to stop Ragnarok. To help people. And what if the only way to do that is war? Atreus. Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine.
The wretches keep coming from that pillar. Looks like a nail. Got him. Find you. Watch out. <laughs> This one back on the track. <gasps> wow, this thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my life. Keep going. We're so close. Just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. Whenever you're ready. Deactivated, but yes. Likely one belonging to Barry, the dwarf, builder of the Great Hall, Lua.
Thiener. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Said it, little brother. Oh, 
I think I see a path here. If we can get through this ore. <laughs> this place is incredible. <laughs> the whetstone of the night, Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is a Me alone. Tyr, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You? Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? 
No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind. Blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know I'm here. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Yotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. I remember that name. She tried to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphon now. You have my sympathies. Just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Whoa. Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment, execrable torture at the hands of the Old Father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view is a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to... Oh, that. Highly pleasant. For all parties involved. Ah! You okay? The light. It's... It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos and... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Come here. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Watch out! No, 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 no. no. It's okay. I'm dying. attack. You should have taken the spear. Defended yourself. No. I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to.
Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me. That I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war... Or worse yet, lead you to it... Then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. for a good night's rest and maybe some food I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner brother perhaps now you'd like to finish the story uh, the sons of Thor attacked us we killed them Balder tried to kill Freya I killed him but you skipped over how we fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the Giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. We're finding the shrines The Giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa, what are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ainuriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Look oh, out! You do do it. Behind you! Look out! Yggdrasil. It's been too long. I'd forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the Giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The Giants are... were... a very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest. Free house. Lord Tyr. You're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, uh, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. I'll <laughs> be. Father, you coming? So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. 
We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Hold still. Hold still. Yep. <clears throat> oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tyr. I'm going to turn in. Good day tomorrow. So, Tyr. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. I'll arrange accommodations. I may need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go to trouble on my account. Too much space would be unsettling. Do you have a broom closet? Yes, but... To be honest, it's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food then. Oh, nothing much. Perhaps some hard tack. Hard tack. Any sort of humble ship's biscuit will do. I, with a pinch of salt. I'll see what I can find. What's left of tear, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? Keep your bits in all the right places. A good fit. Damn! Am I good or what? You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking... I want things to be the way they were. Well... I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His game is fresh. Expect too much. Aye. 
Perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh! You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Oh. Uh, no. I, I meant to tell you. Henry's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... Very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep. Just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened. And I need answers. A chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! Well, it's not going to blow itself up. Yo. Yo, what's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Oh, lift's broken. Accidental I'll magic's not all. Later. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber? Yeah, and I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. She could help me. But not giant magic. Fine. 
We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It's... venomous? Shoot the barrel. It's got soundstone on it, too. Yes. Feels good, right? It's great, Sindri. We're blocked. How'd the arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. What's the dwarven? The Alpha! It is soundstone, but the path's still blocked. I don't see any more on this side. Hold on. Let me look around. Maybe I need a different angle. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Well, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? <sighs> Looks like there's something hidden by the horsemen. If only I had a way to burn this. Yes. If only your father were here. That's not what I said. Soundstone from there? So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thora blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- You said you need to touch them. I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! Need a moment! Nice! Uh, okay, right. I'll just... The offer! Sindri? Harsh word. Not sure he'll recover. Shut up. You want my help or not? All right, all right. That's quality craftsmanship.
Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Well, you clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? <sighs> there! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. What do you think it means? It means we should have stayed home. Let's head back. The door's frozen. Maybe I can... Would you just let me do it? So what was your plan anyway? 
Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. I'm not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. Excitement for one day. No way. We're so close. <laughs> oh, dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. Hi. Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet Bessel, I wish it did. <laughs> See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself. I don't think I can break this. I need to find another way around. You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Keep going. Yup. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? 
This is life and death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living! Living is an option! Okay, now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah, sounds right. that. See me now. He would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Yeah, fuck! Uh, uh. 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 
Trust her. Why won't you tell me? Guess I'm going the right way. Really wish I had a compass. Oh, 
shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes! I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts! Oh. Hey! Like you never do? Better than having regrets? I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too! Yep, that's the door. Just be sure to scream that she starts killing you. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably would mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Huh. 
Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What Smash. makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to <clears throat> Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, you learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Svartalfarn. Impossible! The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father.
Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. <laughs> Good thing I like climbing. Yeah. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I'm starting to think. Sindri, I told you I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Stop <laughs> up! Oh. I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Nightmares. I'm gonna be sick. Ervaluta. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way! He'd kill you! Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Oh. Oh. Did they ever quit? You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Oh, oh. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No, I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. Uh. What do you mean, a choice? I... 
I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just now wanted hang to... on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this... sausage? Uh... Sure! Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh. So, where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The Shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The Knowledge Keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit.
So, where did this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> I'll disinfect my tools. Strike true. I'll heat up the forge. And Atreus? Fashionable. Kratos? This will be of some use. Now, where'd you find this? Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two? I'm here for you. What about your son? What'll it be? Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of act 
acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squiddle that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places. A realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. If we're not going to Alpheim yet, Probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Einherjar? I thought Einherjar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards with their souls cut up. Wait, feels like there was something else. There's something over here. Ah, a memory of war. You could use this as a training arena if you like. You'll just be fighting the recollections of enemies. They won't be able to harm you. But there's nothing. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Hey, Brock. Hitting the road or chewing the fat? Wait, are those Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Here. 
What do you think it means? I've seen more raiders come back to Hotel Walkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms. And keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad. And a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Dear, do you know Ratatosker? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the speak. squirrels I've killed. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. We're ready to go to Alfheim when you are, Father. Unless you wanted to finish something in Svartalfheim first. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hide stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better now. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. Living desert. Huh. I'll meet you on the other side. Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Ah! 
Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Good eye. By frost eyes. Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. Yeah! There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Oh! Jump! Yeah. not do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. One of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Like. he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves.
Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Most unfortunate. They attack us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freya, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmare. In this case, Freya's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freya was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door, there's a light crystal. 
Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise? The I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls? Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, the fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They may... It's just to let these two do their thing, brother. Cross on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way, the shrine away. <laughs> The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. <clears throat> Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. Just like to be thorough. I see. By all means. Things smell awful. Anything interesting this way? Huh. 
Glad we explored. Shall we continue? So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. There's more Twilight Stone up there. Another of Cavassier's poems. Gotta be a better angle on that twilight. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Friends, salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. The long and short of it. Aye. Well, then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Mm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again.
Why not simply hold it in place? I don't think that's the way up to the shrine. We know. There's a chest over here. Oh, I see it now. Forgive my impatience. Oh, tricky. <laughs> There's gotta be a way to get your axe behind this crate, right? I don't mean to speak out of turn, but the white marble wall behind that grate. Perhaps your axe can reach it. Why'd we explore? Oh no. Back to it then.
careful.
Back to it then. <laughs> yeah, that was right. The angle looks right. Excellent. Let's continue our ascent, yes? More inspiring lyricism from the mind of Vasia. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Behind you! Look out! Wow. Stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. That's the wrong. No, I see. Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elf so much in the temple. Guess that's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Sparkle Yoha's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now, too. Timing must be precise. <laughs> Grrrr! <laughs> 
up this way. Father, over here! Here they come. Do what you must. Lidor, it's coming! making light bridges. Look at this statue, these crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. Oh, crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. And he's seen him laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? He's even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. <laughs> They insist on these frustrating trials. You would know better than us, Bubba. I can't remember. <laughs> Nor do I wish to try. <laughs> Quicker, I think. More Twilight Stone. It's nice seeing it again. Another to the left! <laughs> 
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. Now. And we really place all <laughs> long before his arrival. <laughs> if he had the power to heal this land and end the war, he <laughs> not. He made his choice. The wrong one. But I'll find perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path, regardless of where they end. Last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's... unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves, but when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. Job, brother. This way. We're almost there.
still hear something wounded out there. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. quite nicely with the Twilight Story. I'm not for interiors, these light elves. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Oh, the light of Alfheim. Stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hit anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes. Did we help the wrong side?
Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. What do you need? The giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? Huh? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. 
We just saw we can win. Tear? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, Atreus. This is wrong. much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok. But we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Raise the Now before more arrive. Okay. Focus, Atreus. This way. Oh, 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 oh,
Far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight, but with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Oh! Hold on! Over here! You're chained! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I, I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Doc, 
Kelp Assault. How fortuitous! I'm so sick of fighting out. Can't they just leave us alone? Get out of here. Through here!
Can we leave now, please? Almost there. This way. Here. We open the gateway, please. You want war, Atreus? See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. We should be able to reach the Barons up top, once we find a way past this hive map. I remember these things. Definitely Dark Elf territory. We gotta hit them all at once, remember? Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. Might even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Hail, fellow travelers! Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Oh, wow. It seems useful. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Not for us. Domesticated Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Whatever this thing is, 
I think the animal's inside. Whatever's inside is kicking up quite a bit of sand. How do we reach it? There's caves and tunnels are plenty out here. Let's find one and see where it takes us. Nicely done. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the... Dwarves, they'll know what to do with it.
These rooms. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. entrance. Oh! Huh! <laughs> 
Brother, do you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. I hope Tyr's had enough time to find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is, how you'll ever make Tyr believe it.
glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. We can eat whenever you like. Stu will only eat time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. <laughs> Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little dress. Eat. <laughs> oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But to use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that- you... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone.
What are you? I wish I had known I was a god in Elfon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Was that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories, and not nice ones. You broke the gate. That was our only way to Yonhan. What do you want? Let's go, Ruma. I don't understand. Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run whatever. off. Whatever. Can whatever. you tell whatever. me where whatever. I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're gods. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Uh. This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Am I? Okay, guess I'll see you around the other side. Ooh! Where am I? Can you understand me? Oh, hi there. So, where are we going? Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? Any idea how I got here? I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. Sent? What's that? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish you were here to meet you. <laughs> There's a lot of you, huh? What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. I'm coming. Sorry. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you tell me if you were going to eat me. 
<laughs> That's a joke, right? I've never seen a forest like this before. Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on him. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been... Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angoboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, Loki. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Lola. Oh, Way. I'll, uh, take my own path. So, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, and... I've heard that Utengard can be disorienting. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <gasps> so, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the forest of the giants if he doesn't think it exists. Call it. Or, call it. <laughs> What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants weren't all supposed to be... giant. So, what do you do here? 
Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Surviving Fumble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. I'll be up above you, but keep going the way you're going. Scalfa. <laughs> Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock and Cindy would think of that. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you Midgard giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. I can't believe there are nightmares here, too. Yaffa! Breaking stuff? It's just something my father. You know what? Never mind.
Stuff. It's just something my father... You know what? Never mind. Great! I met another living giant. Maybe one who holds my destiny. What? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah, I'm just in a magical force that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... <sighs> yeah. I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they? Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay. I'm sorry. Stop! 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 Stop!
Thanks. Uh, you too. <laughs> Help me with this? Oh, sure. Edie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! I can slow down! Almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled Grove's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would live on, despite the ACR's best efforts. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you'll see plenty more button clamps today. I hope so. Here. your magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm-hmm. This way. Is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Of course, others see the future and get... Okay. Yes. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. 
Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. No. No. It's not right. That can't be what happened. No. No, no. No. This isn't real. Ironwood's not real. The Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, you're okay. Okay, you're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future! It says I serve Odin and my father dies! There's just no way! Look, this is the only way things turn out! The sooner you accept that, the better! Oh, shit. That was mean, too. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. Loki, I need your help with this. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Hi, Ala. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. She, she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um, I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> so, where did you say we were going? 
We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. Those flowers over there. Silence. I... Okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Jotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. Aha! Here's one. Let's grab it. Who's it for? Wolves gotta eat, don't they? Never seen fruit like this before. They're called green bulbs. My mother made me eat one every day. For strength, they taste terrible. Seems like they work, though. Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Yeah, sure. Could you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. Can't wait to meet more of them. How many more of these fruits do you need? You in a hurry to leave? No, I just... gotta save my father's life now, apparently. Loki, we have time. I see some fruit up there. Then we should be up there too. Wait, were you talking to me or the yak? Yeah? <laughs> Let me help. Thanks. You're welcome. After you? Listen, I know we're out here having fun and all, but maybe we should talk about what you saw in the mural. What I saw would never happen. I wouldn't join Odin if it cost me my father. If I learned anything from my mother, it was that these things have a way of coming true, one way or another. I learned from my father, too. Close your heart to it. But... I can't. Not for this. Can't reach it. Yappa! Hoppa! You know, I may have thought about going to Asgard, but I'd never do it. Yeah? My father wasn't helping me figure out my destiny. When Odin and I were alone, he offered to teach me. If you were alone with Odin, he could have easily killed you. I mean, not that easily. Let's head up to that ledge. More fruit. We don't need it, but we can grab it anyway. How do you know when it's ripe? My parents taught me. It's a delicate guessing game. So you can't be sure of everything that's gonna happen then? I'm sure of the big stuff. Oh, Yala can't get under that log. Jaffa! Junk underneath it out for her? Get 
Getting these ingredients, feeding your animals. You do this every day? If I don't, they'll die. It just seems like a lot for someone your age. Our age. Uh, right. One of the last conversations I had with my father, he said he was sorry he couldn't protect me. That I'd have to grow up so fast. And at least you got an apology. Dads have a way with words, huh? You know, maybe Oda needs you for something. Or, maybe it's not what it looks like. Maybe I'm tricking Odin. Oh, is trickery something you're good at? I lied to my dad a couple times. Oh, a master of deception. Green bulbs go here in this bucket. Hey, if I need to, like, fix my bow or something, can I? Of course, I've got supplies in my tool chest over there. By the way, I left something in the tool chest for you. I'll meet you over by Yala when you want to leave. Is it okay to hang out around here? As long as you want. Nice! Hey, what's this one? I painted that one with grandmother. Wasn't as good back then. The lines on this one feel so alive. Oh, wow. It's quite the compliment. I really like what you did with the colors in this one. Oh, that dark blue pigment in the sky was really hard to nail down. Well, you clearly did. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that one's my favorite. I'm really proud of that one hand. Like, seriously. Look at it. Um, no, yeah, it's amazing. Hands are so hard to draw. They really are. And Gubauda, earlier you said the Udengard can be disorienting. But what is it? Hmm. You know Amir? The first of our people. He died a long time ago, right? Odin killed him. Yes. Odin destroyed everything that remained of him, save for one thing. His What's dream. next? Well, now's when I usually harvest the Vis roots I mix with them. I mean, unless you still want to leave. No, I can stay. I... Wanna stay? <clears throat> you know, I paint too. Well, I draw. What do you draw? All kinds of things. Monsters, artifacts, anything father and I encounter on our journeys. Oh, is your father an artist too? <laughs> No. There are some roots up this way. Easy, girl. You've got this. 
Do you have any animals that could maybe, uh, go faster? No offense, Yala. Of course I do. They just can't carry both of us. This is much easier. Hmm. Got it. I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. <laughs> she really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just, apart from me, the only other person she spent time with is- Truck! On the ridge! Loki! Show me the wolf! That's it! You got this! when I change. Like, I'm not in control. Do you need to be? Well, at least there's some roots down here. Grab them while we look for a way out. No knife, remember? Oh, yeah. Guess it isn't a total loss. I don't pull up roots for a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't you. Hey, looks like they opened up a path over there. Let's catch up with Yala before more of them show up. <laughs> You're okay. But what about you, Loki? What do you feel when you change? Just... anger. Maybe you just need to find the part that will guide it? How? You can fight with all sorts of emotion in your heart, not just rage. If rage lets it out, another might help you stay you. Uh, wh where does this bridge go? Hold on. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Maybe. Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then, I've got one last thing to show you. You okay? Yeah, just... 
We should head back toward the water. This way. Is it all right if we stick around longer? Might wanna, you know, repair some stuff. Yes.